In the West African country of Benin, where voodoo was born, it is an official religion practiced by more than four million believers. Voodoo's exact origins are elusive, but it is said to have evolved out of the region's traditions of ancestor worship and animism. Aza Ganun is a third-generation voodoo priest and healer. He treats patients and presides over rituals in a shrine of the earth spirit. Aza sees the benefits of voodoo everywhere. If the people are sick and we invoke voodoo, they are cured. If some people don't have enough money, we employ voodoo so they will get money. In the local language, Thon, voodoo means spirit. While practitioners believe in only one true God, they communicate with him through thousands of different spirits and shrines. Even for a priest, it can be dangerous to disobey a spirit's wishes. Years ago, a spirit demanded that Aza's daughter, Asiba, become a medium, a vessel for the deity. But Aza wanted his daughter to get a modern education. At first, he disobeyed the spirit's commands. But over time, Aza realized the spirit was thwarting his plan for his daughter. She didn't understand what the teacher was saying and she couldn't hear when the teacher spoke to her. So I consulted the oracle and learned that if she did not become a voodoo worshiper, then she would never find a good path in life. For his daughter to achieve her potential, Aza has to let her become a medium. This forest harbors the earth spirit, Sakpata. Here is where Asiba's journey begins. It was our grandfathers who worshipped voodoo and passed it on to us. Now our daughter wants to worship voodoo. Supreme God will leave the rest up to you. Suddenly, the spirit claims Asiba's body, overcoming her. These people believe the spirit has actually killed Asiba. Now in the grip of spirits of the dead, the girl's body received gentle care, given with the hope that, in time, the earth spirit will return her to life. Asiba will lie here for three days without food or water. Aza hopes to see Asiba reborn, but he knows her fate is up to the spirit. Three days later, the spirits of the dead still control Asiba's body. Her father, Aza, hopes they are about to give his daughter back. The corpse of the new medium is still inside. Now we want to open the door for her and bring her from here in front of the community. A spray of cornmeal rids the path of evil to signal passage from the world of the dead to the world of the spirit, the body must come feet first into the village. Open palms invoke the spirit, inviting it to return. In voodoo, contact with a chicken purifies the body, preparing it for rebirth. Still, Asiba seems lifeless. A priestess calls on the spirits to release their hold on her body. Finally, a muted cry. This display of spirit power overwhelms worshipers. A series of ceremonies purifies Asiba's physical self. With his daughter revived and reborn, Aza feels enormous relief.
Now that my daughter is resurrected, I can relax. My body is relaxed. She woke up from the world of the dead, and now the spirit is in her. I am happy now. I am very happy now, because my daughter is following our sister's tradition. Asiba still needs years of training, but in time, she will take her place as a spirit medium.